Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a first impressions review on the Tarte Shape Tape right here. I'm really excited about it. There's been a lot of rave on this product, so I've wanted to go out myself and purchase it so that I can give you an honest, full review on it, um, in my, as well as my first impressions. So, without further ado, let's get started. At Ulta on the website, it's $25 for the concealer, and there are 10 milliliters of product, or... 0.3381 fluid ounces so there's not a whole lot of product in here but um, I've heard that it's super full coverage so you may not have to use a whole lot so there are 14 shades on the Ulta website which is a pretty nice range I got the shade fair neutral so we'll see if it works um, so it comes in this purple packaging it's little has some designs it's pretty simple though I'm mostly concerned about how well it's gonna wear, how well it's gonna cover, and things like that. Let's just pull it out and get started. So, let me open this. <sighs> so, this is a product. Uh, it has this pretty design on the top. It seems like a pretty sturdy material for the container that it's in. I don't believe it is glass, so it's not gonna break on you, which is nice. Yeah, it seems plasticky. So that's good, it's not gonna break on you. So let's just go ahead and take it out. Okay, so it looks like it has this kind of a wand on it and already you can see that there's like a lot of product just on the top of the wand, which is really nice. Um, and it kind of tells me that I don't have to use a whole lot. So I'm just, I already have my foundation, um, highlighter, and eyeshadow and brows on so I'm just gonna put the concealer I'm gonna use it to highlight under my eyes um, and then some other high points on my face so let's go ahead and get started we'll just do a little bit Wow yeah so just a tiny little dot do you see that it's a tiny dot that's crazy so I'm not gonna use too much because I can always go in with more let's just do that go out a little bit and then I'm gonna do tip of my nose bridge So that was just one swipe, you guys, and I got all my concealer where I wanted it to go, so that's crazy. I'm going to take my um, damp Real Technique sponge and just dab that underneath my eye. Okay, looks pretty full coverage to me. So the color seems a little light for my skin, but winter is coming, unfortunately. So it's probably just going to match later for the winter time. So there's that side. I feel like it did a really good job getting rid of my dark circles and just highlighting under my eye to make me look more awake, which is exactly what I like to use concealer for. So let's go ahead and do the other eye. My first impression is that I really like it. I think the color is a little bit too light for my skin tone, um, but like I said, winter is coming, so it'll be good for that time of the year. Um, I like that it's full coverage, but it still looks somewhat natural, um, so I could get away with wearing it without foundation and just as a like under eye highlighter when I want to go for a more natural look if I'm getting ready for work or whatever. Um, but yeah, I really like it. I don't see any like creasing under my eyes quite yet, um, which is nice. So I'm gonna go set it, or I'm gonna go get my setting powder and be right back. All right guys, well, this is the finished look. 
Overall, I really like this concealer. It, uh, I feel like it really covered up my dark circles, which is my number one reason for using concealer. Um, up close, I don't see any creasing under my eye, which is great. Um, we'll see how it wears throughout the day, and then I'll give you an update down in the description box of how well it wore. Um, I'm going to work today, so that's pretty much the only thing I'm doing um, so we'll see how it does after work. But anyways, thanks for watching. I hope this review was helpful and I hope to see you next time. Bye!